everyone welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for watching i feel like i have gone missing for very very long i'm so sorry for that i had a lot of things going on and as you can see my background has changed but it's not fully uh, done up yet it's because i've been really really very busy and i am planning to actually fill this wall up with uh, pictures and i do have a, a couple of pictures on top but it's not you know showing on camera so I'm actually going to bring those pictures down and I'm actually going to fill up this wall behind. I might change my uh, twinkly lights it's because I don't know, it's just showing up yellow on camera. I don't know what's going on with my twinkly lights. And I think this is going to be a permanent thing here. This is actually uh, my dad's guitar. So it's... Yep. So it's just hanging right behind me. So basically... This entire wall, I'm just gonna fill up with stuff that I have, things that are actually really, really special to me. So yeah, so today I actually came on camera to show you guys my go-to makeup look. I have been using this makeup look every single day for the past two weeks now, and I truly, truly love how it um, complements my eyes. And I did not use any any black eyeshadow so i just actually wanted to come on camera and share with you guys my go-to makeup tutorial and i do have a couple interesting videos that are coming up really really very soon stay tuned for that and i truly hope that you enjoy this video so yeah let's get started into the video the first thing i'm going in with is the sephora revitalizing booster and applying that to my face and then i'll be going in my vaseline lip therapy in cocoa butter just to moisturize my lips then i'm first going to prime my eyes with the nyx eyeshadow b after priming my eyes i'm just gonna go ahead and put the cosh tape at the corner of my eyes because i am no pro at my eyeliner then i'll be setting the nyx eyeshadow base with the l'oreal mercier powder then i'm going in with two of the balm eyeshadow that i received from ipsy one is called meet matte timothy and is in the shade called matte kumar and applying that all over my crease with my m433 brush then i'll be going in with the cabana boy this is actually a blush and a shadow which is called cabana boy and i'm just applying that to the outer corner of my eye then i'll go in again with my m433 to just blend everything out then i'll be going in with the baby boy super shock shadow from colourpop and i'm just using my fingers to apply that to the inner corner to the center of my lid normal clean blending brush to just blend everything out so that there isn't any harsh lines then i'll be going in with great london fierce mix i think i'm saying that correctly i'm just using this to do my wing liner then after doing my eyeliner i am just going to prime my face with the australia's matte out primer and then then as you can see i've already color corrected my under eye the corner of my nose and the side of my mouth using the la girl um hd concealer in orange then i'll go ahead and apply my revlon color stay in the shade toast all over my face then today we're going in with the elf hd concealer and i'm just concealing my under eye area upper lip chin forehead and i am going to um shape out my brows so while shaping out my brows i realized Hot damn, my brows are actually super uneven and I didn't actually realize when I was doing my makeup, editing this video, I was like, damn, my, there's something wrong with my brows. So I just go ahead and use my e.l.f. stapling brush to blend all the concealer out and then set it with the Laura Mercier setting powder. I know I'm looking real cute right now because I'm baking my face for 30 seconds Then after that I just went ahead and just brush off. Um, the excess powder and just set my foundation with the L'Oreal Mercier powder and going in with the Benefit Hula to bronze up my face real cute face again real cute and I'm just going in with this Sephora blush palette which I got from them from for my birthday uh, this year so I'm just using this blush now that's kind of weird but it's a really really beautiful coral shade I'm just applying that to my cheekbone then for highlighter I'll be going in with the three concept eyes highlighter I just really love this highlighter a lot because it's so soft and it just gives you a very very beautiful glow I do recommend this um, highlighter for bright to be because this is a very very soft highlighter then going in with a sephora matte black eyeliner to line my waterline and then i'm just using this new mascara which is the nyx double stack the first application is you gotta apply the black mascara and then you go in with the fiber lashes and then you apply it onto your lashes again and then 
you go back again with the black mascara to seal the lashes up and if you're not wearing false lashes on that day i would recommend you guys to actually get this because it does give you the effect of false lashes and then for my lipstick i am going in with the color pop lippy stick which i never know how to pronounce this name so i'm just gonna link it on the screen don't want to butcher the name and we are set we are actually good to go and then once again can you see the difference of my brows oh my god i'm really having a bad brow day and i think i am just going to hang on for a while till my entire brows actually goes out and just redo my brows all over again because this is real sloppy work light days real sloppy work <laughs> i want to thank you guys so so much for hanging out with me today and if you did like this video give this video a big thumbs up and hit the button down below and subscribe to my channel um you can follow me <laughs> A second there. You can follow me on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. All my links will be in the description box down below together with all the products that I've used. So I love you guys so so much and I will see you guys in my next video. I will be putting up my recent vlog which I actually tried to attempt to vlog but a part of the video is actually failed. I you know this is my first time vlogging and not a lot of people around me are actually really really comfortable in vlogging so i will put the vlog up if you did think that i did a good job on the vlog let me know and i will start doing vlogs every week or every two weeks once so do let me know for that so probably i'll put up the vlog right after i put out this video